and today our alumni are increasingly interested by how their college inspires, fosters and supports entrepreneurship. So I will tell you a little bit about these companies but then what I will do is use my personal examples to these companies to hopefully try and convey some generic messages about the things that one has to think about in trying to take research and turn it into technology. And so this idea of going from something that is essentially completely idle and um, non-functional to something that without any user intervention within 60 seconds can be returned to a living state and kept there for at least 24 hours clinically and up to a week preclinically is a reason why I'm a popular lecturer on Halloween. I think the UK has maybe a, a slightly worse stigma associated with failure. You know, here, if, you're, if you go bankrupt, that's it. In the US, you haven't made it unless you've gone bankrupt twice. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's, it's a sign of, it's a sign of um, having failed and got up and tried again. Uh, support in just taking various guises. I think the biggest support actually I found is from fellow students, seeing just how much interest there is among students to create a startup or to find out more about startups or about how to invest in startups, anything. There is so much hype around it. Even the larger companies are recognizing that um, there's real value to having people who are generating ideas. And they often house startups within and, and thinking about how do we bring them in either through accelerated programs or, or something similar to, to actually get those good ideas from, from it. I had an opportunity to go work in particular on uh, actual parachute modeling, so fluid structure interactions on the Orion project at the time, so to try and look at the crew exploration vehicle re-entering uh, space. And the question was, how do you not kill an astronaut? Which I thought was a pretty interesting question. <laughs> so I think, um, I, I think you know, all small unit leadership or combat leadership experience uh, ultimately boils down to how do you build trust with people. There is no rocket science and I think building a business or leading an organization like that. People actually have to know that you are, I think, organized around the mission and that you actually are going to do something to take care of them. 